De La Wright, my envies, welcome. Shock wave went through the palace of the Oni of Ife as um it is rumored that the Oni of Ife ordered his royal palace guard to throw ebony things out of the royal manor. Now um it is said that when a deceitful when a deceitful person buries himself under the ground, one arm will surely remain outside. Now, you do know that um, the moment Olori Naomi left the um, royal manor, as we are hearing, Ebony was alleged to have sent um, um, the family uh, with an engineer um, to come and deactivate the security system in the royal manor to reactivate it to suit them. Now, you know that Ebony just had a baby. That was last week or last two weeks. And immediately that baby came out. The first thing she posted was that the crown prince was bedded. Okay. And people started asking questions, what kind of post is that? For a man who is married to so many wives, and already um, there is a son that is Tade Nikawu, and then there is Adesina. How is it possible that you just gave birth to your own and you call that boy a crown prince? And people were very, very upset. But while people were busy grumbling, she, Oni of Ife, had already left the palace. Remember that during that time, Mount Kabiesi was busy going after Olori Naomi, as we are hearing if the information is true. And so, as Kabi as he kept going after Olori Naomi, they had the chance, they said they brought some engineers to come and deactivate the security system in the royal manor and reactivate them. So um, they did that and they quickly moved some of Ebony's things from, um, uh, where, what do you call, you know that the Oloris have already moved back into the palace of the Oni of Ife. All of them, none of them is staying outside again. The Olori quarters now, for them, is even a win-win because Oni succeeded in buying them duplexes out there. Their families are there. They have moved their things back to um, um, uh, the Oni's um, um, palace. So while others were busy moving their things to the palace, back to the palace, okay, busy moving their things, Ebony, they were busy deactivating and reactivating. And they finished, they moved Ebony things back to the royal manor, not the palace, so not where they were staying inside the palace with the only of affair. They removed their things, removed Ebony's things into the royal manor, and they, they locked it and they left. But they said this information got to the only of affair. Only of affair was very very peace. But if you know the Oni of Ife, Oni of Ife is very slow when it comes to taking action consigning his wife. So it's very slow. And I think that is the one thing that has plagued him so much. And that is the one thing that has caused this whole drama to be as bad as it is right now. Hmm. So now um, when they informed uh, Oni of Ife of what the Oloris were doing, they said he didn't say anything because at that time he was busy going after Olori Nami. And because Nami had gone incommunicado, Oni could not focus on any other thing but Olori Nami. And you do know that Oni of Ife is a man who is very, um, who has a lot of work to do at the same time. He's a very busy man. If you remember, why that very week that um, Ebony had her baby, the same way now me left he had a lot to do he was going left and right he was doing a whole lot all for one man and it's important for us to appreciate the fact that Oni is also taking a lot there's a lot of heat also but so as we are hearing what is going on they now moved all their um, ebony things back to the royal manor and locked the royal manor. Then Oni came. They said they were surprised. Kabiesi did not do anything the first day when he came. Where the second day he didn't do anything. Over the weekend, they said he called in his engineer, the one who had installed, who is in charge of the security, the keys in the palace. They came. They broke down that royal that uh, um, uh, uh, manor door. They broke it down. Other the guards who move the things to um, uh, 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 the Olori's quarters. Olori's quarters, he didn't order them to move the things to Ebony's place inside the palace. So he ordered them to move the things back to Olori's um, quarters. Okay, apparently he wanted to give them work to do. They now started moving those things back to the Olori's quarters. And they 
uh, uh, what they did, they reinstalled the um, entire security system of the royal manor. They swept the clean and they locked it up. And they say the palace was so shocked that the wave, like shock wave, went through the palace because they were thinking that when he came, the first time he didn't do anything, the second time he didn't do anything, that that was it, that um, um, everybody was going to come and stay in the royal manor. They said he, he, he asked them, they moved all her things back to the um, uh, Olori's um, quarters. Now, I want to use this opportunity to give an amazing shout out to our channel members. Uh, for your love, for your contribution, for your um, uh, commitment and for your loyalty. I am grateful to you. With the, from the depth of my heart, I remain continuously grateful um, to you. I give a, an amazing Monday hug to Mommy Abbey, Mommy the Mommy Abbey, Mommy Kenny De Adeni Ye, um, uh, Mommy um, Elizabeth um, Ogunrede, Busy B, Daddy Taiwo Ali Balogon, Head Belo Ade Tayo, Glory Akra, and Joyce in Dubuese. May God bless you. May God make his face shine shine on you, you know, may God um, uh, multiply you, you know, so much, okay, good measure, press down, shake it together, and so shall your blessing be. I am grateful from the depth of my heart. See my legs on the ground. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Eshewo. Thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. May God bless and bless and bless you. Thank you so much. So, as we are hearing right now, they said that um, um, uh, people were very surprised. Like, people were very shocked that um, all these people, uh, they have made the only of Ife very angry. That that was what she did. Because when she announced um, her son being the crown prince, a lot of people had thought that it was something that she had maybe agreed with the Oni of Ife. People thought that Oni of Ife must be in agreement with her. If not, there is no way she will have the effrontery to come out and announce something like that that will cause so much, you know, um, talk. In uh, When a man, a man is married to other wives and he's had other children, why on earth would she do something like that? People thought that Oni of Ife was in on it, but then again, with what has happened, it's beginning to show that Kabi Asi knows nothing about what um, um, Ebony said. Um, and basically, it's one of those things where um, uh, Ebony will make him to come and be defending himself here, defending himself there, because people are very upset over what Ebony said. They said he really moved Ebony's things outside, and they said when the family heard about it, they were actually crying that why would he do that? He would have called them. They said, uh, and did you people take excuse before going to put your things inside there? So this is what we are hearing. If the information is true, I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Do not forget these are all alleged, rumored, and speculated information making the rounds on social media. <laughs>